Hi, my name's Jack Ryder and I'm the author of Wish, which is a, a book I've written. Um, here's the cover. It's a story about Pixie and her friend Wild who go on this adventure together. And there's Wild on the train fishing for fish. Um, and he's built a little, a little campfire there on top of the train. And that's the back. And you can find magic in the most unlikely places. Um, I'd love to read you a chapter, the first chapter of the book. So here we go. Lost in the storm. Beyond a large green valley, just before you reach the sea, there was a small house in Cornwall. It was a beautiful little cottage with a blue front door and a thatched roof, which had a tiny chimney pot smoking out the top. It was made from sandstone bricks and had four windows at the front, looking out onto a beautiful wild garden. The garden was full of flowers in bloom, as colourful as a rainbow. Next to an old front gate there stood an enormous palm tree, as tall as a lamppost. A wilderness of tall, dry grass surrounded the cottage on all sides, and beyond the gate a winding path led to a sandy cove. The days were always bright and sunny, and at night when the moon appeared everything was bathed in a pale silver light. The ocean glistened silently beneath the starry sky, and the owls hooted in the trees all around. Inside the little cottage there lived a girl called Pixie. She had blonde hair, which was always tied up in a scruffy ponytail, and she wore big round glasses that had thick red rims. Her deep brown eyes were the colour of autumn, and her button nose was splashed with freckles. Pixie was an only child. She lived with her parents, who adored her, and Pixie's mother, who taught her about the sea. She told her marvellous adventure stories about brave pirates sailing the seas on tall ships. They were always filled with mystery and danger, and when Pixie heard these tales of the sea, a shiver ran down her back in excitement. Pixie, Pixie usually spent her mornings with her father, having breakfast together. Then they would walk down to the sea and practice skimming stones across the water. Later in the day, the family would pack a picnic and head off together in their boat. It was a very small wooden boat and was just big enough to carry the three of them. Very slowly, her father would row them towards an old lighthouse, which stood on a bit of land jutting out into the sea. Pixie had never been inside the lighthouse before, but she always wondered what it would look like. Perhaps it is empty and filled with seagull poop, she often thought, but there was something about the old lighthouse that intrigued her. It must have been over 60 metres tall, and there was an enormous brass cage on the top. Pixie's father told her that the light inside the cage hadn't worked in years. Pixie and her parents would enjoy their picnic, gently bobbing up and down on the sea. Their cottage, just a tiny spot in the distance. These outings were the times when Pixie was happiest. Until one Wednesday afternoon in May, when the world changed under a sky that wasn't sunny and bright, but grey and full of menace. Pixie played on the shore of the cove while her parents went out in the boat to catch crabs for supper. Suddenly the air turned cold and the darkening clouds began roaring with thunder. And then something terrible happened. A ferocious storm whipped into the bay and swept the little wooden boat away, along with Pixie's parents, never to be seen again. The cottage was badly damaged. The storm and the enormous palm tree, which once stood strong and tall, now lay on the ground, snapped in two. Pixie cried for her parents and all that she had lost until her eyes were red and sore. Adults took charge. She stayed with a kindly neighbour until other arrangements could be made and things began happening in a flurry around her. Within a week, the land and her family's cottage had been sold. And so began Pixie's journey to another life. She was to go and live with her grandma. That's the first chapter. And just a little illustration to show you. There's Pixie. And there's the lighthouse in the background. Filled with seagull poop. <laughs> and that's her parents. And they're having sandwiches in the boat. Alice McKinley, an amazing illustrator. My favourite illustrator in the world. Um, worked with me on this book. Um, I hope you enjoy it. It's a, it's a wonderful, wonderful story and um, hopefully that sets you up um, for what lies ahead.
Um, enjoy it and thank you for your support. Thank you.